Ah, Taris. Did you know you've just landed on the biggest graveyard in the galaxy? There's not much to enjoy here, besides skeletons, ruins, and man-eating creatures. Wanna fly someplace else? No point in that, is there? We'd only have to come back. Taris was the Coruscant of the Outer Rim, until some lunatic leveled it centuries ago. Now it's a toxic swamp. We're here for an astrogation chart that was in a vault when Taris fell. That vault's somewhere in these ruins. What do we need with some musty old astrogation chart? I worry about the why, and you take care of the how. That's our deal, remember? Our lost vault was designed to be recovered after a major catastrophe. All we need are the right sensors to locate it. The catch is, the only person I know with access to those sensors is someone who hates me. Someone hates you? But you're so... likable. Try not to slip on your own sarcasm. I wouldn't want you to break anything. Yet. I made our contact an irresistible offer. One of the deal's terms is that she doesn't have to see me. I need you to get that vault's location, Captain. Impress the stars out of her. People always tell me how impressive I am. That must be a terrible burden for you. I should also warn you. Skavik knows about the vault. We can't let him catch up. All I want to do is kill that guy. Don't get hung up on your vendetta. Living well really is the best revenge. The astrogation chart in that vault is essential to finding Nocdrain's riches, Captain. Your contact name is Beryl Thorne. When Beryl gives you the vault's location, come back and see me. Oh, and try not to let anything eat you. I'm Agent Saganti with the Republic Customs Office. What brings you to my planet, Captain? Last time I checked, Terrace was Republic territory. When you have as many responsibilities as I do, you develop a sense of ownership about a planet. The Republic Customs Office monitors all starship traffic and ensures no illegal goods are transported on or off this planet. There's a lot of contraband making its way around Taurus. If you see anything suspicious, I suggest you report it immediately. I sincerely have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Honest. That's right. You have Solid Citizen written all over you. I take a special interest in every new arrival to my planet, Captain. Keep your nose clean and we won't have any trouble. Clear? You give this speech to everyone? Just the ones I think need to hear it. Enjoy your visit to Taurus. Waiting weeks, and those things are still swarming our property while you sorry excuses for defenders of the Republic sun yourself on the base. This is a military operation, sir. This planet hasn't been cleared for civilian occupancy. My brother didn't mean to be insulting, but for three centuries our family has dreamt of reclaiming our place on Terrace, and now to be stopped by those things. Terrace is a dangerous place. What are you doing here? Our ancestors escaped Terrace before the bombardment. They kept everything, deeds, papers, we've even got hollow images of the estate. They always intended us to return. We can't go chasing civilian claims, justified or not. We've barely got the men to hold the base. The Republic validated our records, but some outlaws set up a camp there. They've got security droids all around the perimeter. You need something dangerous cleared out first? It's not Raghuls or anything. There's someone living there. Sentience. They've got security droids all around the perimeter. It's a war zone. We almost got killed entering our own property. The Republic will respond to all such claims of hostile non-indigenous life forms based on strategic value. After 300 years, you can't blame someone for thinking it was up for grabs. Each generation has passed down these deeds. We always knew we would return to Terrace, that we were merely exiles. If the Republic won't help us claim it, we're going to have to go back to Alderaan. Unless... could you help us? Your claim seems just. Great. They're all yours, then. You find anything important, you can fill out a form at HQ. All we need is to get those blasted droids cleared out and find out who's controlling them. I can handle the rest. Argo, you're leaking oil again. You want to set this whole warehouse on fire? The Maker said it is better to burn out than rust away. Perhaps I'm testing that wisdom, mistress. I'm looking for Beryl Thorn. That's me? Argo's what passes for my second in command. I recognize you from Risha's Holo. Let's get one thing straight. 
The only reason I agreed to help is because my contract supplying the terrorist reclamation project is at risk. Looked like easy credits. Turns out terrorist is anything but easy. There are lots of interesting ways to die. Why don't you just leave? Can't afford to. Not yet. If I don't finish my contract, I don't get paid. Tired all my partner died on a supply run. Put me in a real bind. I'll find that vault, but I have to finish my contract to do it. You work for me, and I'll work for you. Deal? What's the upside for me? A real mercenary, huh? I stashed some credits for a rainy day. You'll get them when the job's done. I only have two deliveries left. Soon as you handle them both, we'll find your vault. The first job's for a Republic scientist named Vernon. He's got a research camp in Rackgold territory. What exactly am I delivering? Some kind of sensor equipment. Don't know what it's for. I'll start working on your job while you handle mine. Isn't cooperation grand? Hello again, Captain. I didn't know you and Thorne were acquainted. Agent Saganti. What a lovely surprise. It's only been a day since your last inquis- I mean, inspection. Don't you Republic Customs boys have better things to do than turn my warehouse upside down again? I can inspect this warehouse whenever I want. It's the law. Take Dr. Vernon's delivery, Captain. There's no reason for you to stick around. Why is Republic Customs so interested in you? Just between you and me, Saganti's a very lonely man. Poke around the warehouse all you want, Agent. You won't find anything out of order. Ah. What did I just step in, Thorn? My apologies, sir. I believe that is my hydraulic fluid. Dear Adeli, I regret that your husband was killed yesterday by rat ghouls. Please accept my condolences. Dr. Soylan was an excellent scientist. I've never composed a death notice before. How did that sound? The Dira Dolly part was pretty good. I thought a personal touch was warranted, under the circumstances. Ah, I recognize the symbols on that container. My bio-alarms have finally arrived. Good, good. If only this had arrived in time to save my associates. Not your fault, certainly. We knew the risk of studying Rakul's. You people are a whole new level of hopeless. The pursuit of knowledge is never without risk. And the greater the risk, the greater the enlightenment. My colleagues and I were studying the Rakul's behavior, hoping to find a means of containing them. We can't afford to let the Rakul's impede our progress. The Republic's rebuilding efforts on Terrace are paramount to future prosperity. You're pretty fearless for a scientist. Fear obstructs understanding. Besides, my prospects for survival have just improved. I've isolated an identifying element in the Rakul's physiology, making it possible to detect and track their movements. The bio-alarms you brought will reveal how the creatures hunt. However, installing them will be a challenge with all my assistants dead. Consider them installed, Doc. How hard can it be? Indeed. All that's required are quick feet, basic technical know-how, and raw nerve. Things I see you possess in abundance. Place a bio-alarm at each survey station we've established, and I'll see you're amply rewarded. Amply rewarded is my middle name. Your parents must have been fascinating people. Come back when you're done, and we'll celebrate your success. Normally, I'd ask for your next of kin's hollow frequency. But I'd rather maintain some optimism. Good luck.